Hello everyone, I'm Brahm Mithra. What a surprise, it's a Monday update. <laughs> I was actually just uploading a video, so like, it, that video just went up. So there's another video, <laughs> sorry for the double notification or whatever. If everybody was awaiting this video and saw a notification and then was disappointed, I'm sorry. I did not expect there to be right away, first day of the week, Monday. Especially how it was fra phrased, it said it would be next week. When it was posted on Sunday, I just assumed it meant like next week after it said in there that it would be a week for this update. But nevertheless, we got the update today and it is pretty much what everybody has been asking for for like the longest time. There it is. Gamber's Chest expansion production complete. New shipping chain update picture right there. Production complete. It's what we wanted. All we could ever ask for. Uh, I think this is... 100% like correct this time <laughs> I don't think this is going to be a you know like a oh maybe it is maybe it isn't this is probably 100% correct accurate I totally think that this is probably possible the August estimated delivery I still think it will probably be September but you know and then later it'll be it'll be a long time it'll be I bet some people start getting it maybe the end of August but then majority of people get it September and then other places will get it October stuff like that but I think everybody should have the gamble chest by this year so that's good process printing cards creating trays wrapping boxes bagging dice stapling booklets binding hard covered rule books is all finished gamble chest has reached final assembly and will start being loaded onto containers for its upcoming voyage across the ocean to fulfillment centers containers are scheduled to start arriving at the end of July wherein they will be trucked to our partner warehouses and fulfillment will begin. Now, how long it takes? Who knows? Like I said, I think it will actually be September. The Gamble's Chest expansion will not be available for pickup at Gen Con. That's all fine. And then it goes into, like, this is the most important thing right here. Timing is too, uh, the timing is too tight to arrange for that. We plan to have it on display along with a demo of the Crimson Crocodile, which is amazing. <laughs> And I'll bring some extra rule books in case anyone wants to flip through it. No photos, though. I think that's probably a joke, the no photos thing. Uh, that will definitely, probably likely happen. Um, I will be at Gen Con. I remember it. I will be at Gen Con this year. If I can get my hands on that rule book, uh, maybe I can do something where I can make a video having the rule book in front of me and we'll go quickly through it, go over all the stuff, what we've been waiting for, um, all those kinds of things. We'll see how that goes. Uh, next, this is just, I'm not going to read all this, but basically the Gamble's Chest is three boxes. Um, it, it's just a way to divide it up better. I don't know how this exactly will be. It looks like it will still be one big box and then a multi like two other boxes within that box is what it looks like. Uh, sure. Anyway, uh, quick photos of the Gamble's Chest game box. It has a removal token tray and some other m mysterious box. So here it is. Uh, big box, big box. We've already, like, seen all this, but not the actual inside. Before, there was one with all the miniatures standing on it and everything. So, uh, this, this one is neat. These are the, uh, knowledge cards. Or these are the philosophy cards, and below it are the knowledge cards. And these are likely the philosophy books themselves up here now how it actually works we don't know but like these look like i don't know what these cards are but they have text on them so they're not gear cards i don't know what these cards cards are they're like red here or whatever don't know what these ones are these are likely gear cards maybe these are just like other assortment character cards or maybe they're like Traits, life card, like the universal cards, maybe they're those. Because uh, here, this looks like a mix of, like, uh, these aren't exactly look like hit location cards, but it says H, maybe that is a hit location card on this one. These just, it looks like just a, a mix of everything. These look like AI cards, resource cards, it's just everything. Everything's all here. Uh, there's the box side, again, hit location card for the gambler. Hard plastic showdown. Board status update. Uh, originally it was Q1. Now it's <laughs> quarter four. Uh, this was 100% a 
expected. We talked about this in the last couple updates where originally the story was it was going to be in uh, the December update. I think it was, yeah, the December update said it would be Q1 and then come like February. It still wasn't even tooled. So uh, this was, there's no surprise that this, this was way off. So <laughs> let's talk about this one, the Project Health. Here is a quick and honest review of the Kickstarter projects. Black Knight, 99%. Frog Dog, 98%. This is probably accurate. Uh, Campaigns of Death, 70%. Likely accurate. Uh, we did get a promise that this year's Black Friday update will be a Gambler's Chest massive overview. Like the last one looked like a, like a lot of Iron Mountain oh, massive overview. This looks like we could be getting Campaigns of Death. Now the interesting thing here... <laughs> is the Black Friday update was a massive, like, Iron Mountain overview. And if you look here, Mountain Man, or I don't know why I keep saying Iron Mountain, Inverted Mountain. Mountain Man, Inverted Mountain campaign is 30%. That's nuts. How is this only 30%? How is Screaming God only 75%? <sighs> Things. <laughs> uh, Oblivion Mosquito, 60%. Nightmare Ran, 60%. Pariah. 70% Red Witches, 60% Griffin, 30%. This one is super troubling, right? All these other ones up here, aside from Screaming God. Screaming God's, like, not supposed to be a Node 4. It's supposed to be, like, a Node 5, if I remember right. It's supposed to be, like, a, a, a thing beyond King. But Griffin is supposed to be, like, the Node 4. This is, like, the first Node 4 that we're supposed to have access to that isn't King. Um... So for this being still so, so so long behind, I guess it's because of King needed work before we get started on more Node 4s. I don't know. Um, Honeycomb Weaver, 40%, which is again super odd because he made that whole B and everything. It's really hard to tell what these percentage actually means. They basically mean really nothing to us unless they're like, this, this means that these are almost finalized, right? These 70% things could mean almost anything because when we got Gambler's Chest was at 97%, it then took six months for it to go into production. Six months after being at 97%. So who knows what, the, like these percentages, who knows what this means? Uh, Abyssal Woods, 20% is pretty concerning. First Hero, 60%, which is odd because that was supposed to be just the rewards table and stuff, but I guess, oof. Uh, next we've got Silver City, 70%. I never expected this really anyway. Ivy Dragon, this one, I, it's fine. This one's almost one that I thought, if, if anyone was going to get canceled, I always thought it was Ivy Dragon. The only reason why I say canceled is because Lantern Festival got canceled in the original Kickstarter. And if something else were to be the new Lantern Festival, I always thought Ivy Dragon would be the one. So this being a 20%, Totally not surprising. Pathfinders of Death being 50%. That's kind of surprising. Then the Wanderers. These Wanderers are pretty much nothing. Uh, who knows, though? We don't have a Wanderer yet. We don't have luck to compare it to. But the one that's... This, the, the lowest one, right? So 50%, 50%, 50% for these three Wanderers. Then th this Wanderer, the Anonymous Wanderer. This one was supposed to be the one that like we were supposed to get. This was the one that was teased in the, the gamblers or the Black Friday Gamblers Chest update. This was the one that was like, don't worry, all the wanderers will be out this year, or well, 2023. It said next year. So like it, spreading across 2023. So remember that was November of 2022. All four of these were supposed to come out in 2023. And this was the one that was supposed to be the farthest along, and now it's like the lowest amount along. Interesting. Uh, promos of Death, 25%. Sure. False Messengers, 35%. Sure. Super Survivors, 20%. Death Armor Expansion, 25%. Now, that could just be Green Armor. Who knows? Um, so that's all the expansions. So just back... I just wanted to go to the other... This is the Black Friday update from November 2022. Just to show what the state, like I was saying with all those percentages, just to show it. Uh, here's the in, uh, Inverted Mountain. With that, send, it's, yeah. <laughs> with that, our ascent up the Inverted Mountain together must finally draw to a close. The peak, the mountain man is at the top, exists outside of my purview. Uh, thank you for joining me. Blah, blah, blah. We should have discussed on the crime. Estimated arrival date, quarter one, 2024. Now remember, 
I just said that the Inverted Mountain campaign itself was at 30%. 30% is what he just honestly said to us. I highly doubt that's going to be quarter one 2024. That is, that is eight months at, well, okay, at best, that is 10 months from now. At best, 10 months from now for estimated arrival date. The thing is at 30%. So... Uh, now for the Wanderers, so the Anonymous Survivor, like I was talking about, here she is, Anonymous Survivor. Um, here's all her stuff. This was, scroll down, Wanderers are unique survivors. Again, we don't we don't really know anything about this because we don't have luck yet with the Gambler's Chest, but with the Gambler's Chest underway and production has been in hand, we're repairing our schedule to finish all the Wanderers sooner than later so they can be shipped out for everyone to enjoy with Gambler's Chest and its crazy amount of content. Estimated arrival over the course of 2023. All those were really low at the bottom. Like all of them were listed at 40%. And uh, the anonymous one was at, what was it? The anonymous one was at 30. No, 40. Okay, so they're all 50% and then 40 for the anonymous one. Let me just go back up again. Look, Inverted Mountain is at 30%. Plus Griffin is also at only at 30%. I have no idea. It, it, it was mind boggling. So, it's just mind-boggling. So, I just wanted to go over some of that stuff. I think there was actually... Yeah, so Screaming God, Abyssal Woods. These projects have all been a varying degree of amount of development, blah, blah, blah. So, again, most likely to begin see their finish and fulfillment in 2024. That puts every other project to finish in 2024. Some of these are at 20% for Super Survivors. Promos of... How? How? 2020, that, that's a year and a half from now until 2025. That is, that is 16 months. No, well, 18 months, we'll say, because this is June. So it's exactly, yeah, so 18 months, he's expecting all of this to be complete. These two were for so long. These were supposed to be, like, estimated already out, and they're still not. And then this one is already, like... This one's already been shown at Gen Con. This isn't even done yet either. There's just no way. So if these percentages are true, everything in Black Friday is just is just well off. So uh, Possessed Twilight Night in January 2023 will be reaching out to the sort of managers, firm addresses, and begin shipping these out. So let's go. So here's Gen Con. Uh, We'll be at Gen Con 2023, so that's great. Along with the Gambler's Chest on display and Echo's Death 4. I'm hoping Echo's Death 4 will be there. That will be absolutely amazing. Uh, we have managed to secure the same spot, the same place. If anybody wants to interview us, please send us a list of questions ahead of time. So I will hopefully be doing that. Uh, here's the Possessed Twilight Night. This is why I just wanted to show that. Here it is. This is finished. Confirmation emails and instructions have been sent out today. If you have not received it, blah, 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 blah. So this is in June now. This was said to begin in January, they were supposed to begin this process. <sighs> so those estimates, take them for what you will. Uh, but, look, Gambler's Chest is in production. I fully expect we'll be getting Gambler's Chest in September. That's what I'm fully expecting. So that's great either way. Let's just forget all this other stuff now and just go on to Kickstarter questions. There was a lot of Kickstarter questions that were asked. Um... These are just absolutely amazing questions, so let's get into these. Quick start questions. Will the Gambler's Chest be available to Master Key holders on the KDM Sin within three months after it's available in the shop? I am currently undecided on how exactly the Gambler's Chest will be handled on the Sim. I am leaning towards making it something that can be unlocked via gameplay as opposed to it being for sale, though. That is interesting. Uh, doesn't answer the question. Sounds like nowhere's near three months after it's available. It doesn't really answer the question. Just he doesn't know how it's going to be done, or how it's going to be dealt with. So uh, maybe we can get it without having to pay for it. That'd be neat. Can we expect a vignette at Gen Con this year? Is it the Butcher, Nucleop, Ancient Corm, or something new? The vignette of death. <laughs> the Kaledium Butcher <laughs> will be previewed at Gen Con this year. I think that means it will be for sale. We may take pre-orders for it. Uh, but it depends on where we are with the printing cycle and when we expect it to arrive. So, hopefully that's the one with Aya and the Archivist. That's absolutely amazing. 
I'm so glad it's the Kalenium Butcher. Kill Enium. Kill... Kill Enium. <laughs> Kill Enium. <laughs> What's the next expansion to be included in KDM Sim? Spidiculies. Spidicules. Spooter. Can you explain what the pillar point system is? This is a question I asked. Uh, I really want to know what the pillar point system is. So the pillar... From what... How it was set... This is... Basically, this is the same exact answer he's already given like a year ago. So... I don't know what I expected. I thought maybe he would actually explain like what it actually is for or just kind of explain what kind of systems it entail or anything. I thought maybe I'd get a little bit more than this. I got nothing, but okay. Um, so I'll just tell you what, this is what I knew about it going in and why I asked about it. It's supposed to handle the strains and stuff like the scout system. So nodes for monsters and nemesis are that's the node system where you put your your core you build your campaign you do all that other stuff but then the like the the parts of a campaign using if you're using scouts if you're using wanderers those kinds of things are part of the pillar system so as kdm grows i wanted a system in place that would allow for both more fun and more balance in regards to creating new expansions to experience okay Gameplay components that fall outside of the node structure are instead assigned a pillar or instead assigned a pillar point value. These points serve as a guidelines for how much complexity and content the component adds. Okay, so I just pretty much explained it to you. I explained it to you better than even his answer. These are things like the scouts and stuff. Uh, how many are supposed to be in there? I don't know. How it works with the gambler's chest? I thought maybe he would say a gambler's. The gambler's chest is a full 10 point system or whatever. A gambler's chest represents full system, right? Maybe the gambler's chest is too complex. Maybe the gambler's chest has more than what's necessary. Maybe the gambler's chest has everything thrown in there, but they never recommend ever doing that ever again. Who knows? I thought that was the kind of answer I would get. Again, this is the question I asked, but super vague. Can we expect new weapon proficiency type in gambler's chest? No, this is interesting. I was kind of expecting like instruments or butcher's cleaver. Uh, we have that thing where it says if you attack with cleavers, who knows if that imitation butcher match is still real? It could be wrong. Either way, it says when you attack with cleavers. So I thought there'd be a new type of weapon. Maybe, again, I always thought, because that was released way back 2017 when we saw the butcher's mask or whatever. No, 2018 probably. It was like the first one when they introduced the pattern system. That what, the butcher's mask was always going to be one of the first ones. And it always said cleaver. So when you updated to 1.6, Legendary Car Pack, I fully expected it to have Butcher's Cleaver to be a cleaver type weapon. It's not. It just says it's Butcher's Cleaver in the title. So if that Imitation Butcher is still the same as it is now, uh, where it just says if, when you attack with cleavers, that means that anything with cleaver in the in the title, n not technically Scleaver, from, from uh, but who knows anymore, because... If it would need to say specifically Butcher's Cleaver in the name of the of the item would be then a cleaver that makes twilight sword a sword uh so this interesting uh maybe cleavers are still a new type but they won't have a proficiency when will the dark hero return i cannot answer this question this time good this is another question i asked when the dark hero return he doesn't know uh it'd be great to see what the post final version of the encounter monster card organizer looks like after many versions we decided to keep it simple and include the counter monster card organizer in the main tray don't know what that means i think it just means it will be in the box totally not like useful because the box is super huge and the game takes up a huge table amount if you've seen me play through the game it takes up my entire table which is a six by eight uh i don't keep the, the box anywhere near that so we used the extra space for a surprise that I felt was much more meaningful towards campaign organization instead. Who knows what that means? Campaign organization would be great. Um, who knows? But I would have much preferred to have a little tuck box or something, like a plastic one where you put it open and then you close it. Since we only have the one encounter, you could just always keep everything in there. When you had the encounter, you just pulled it out. Whatever. Uh, what is the card count and card size? For gambler's chests so we can buy sleeve before it gets here we'll be offering uh sleeves and have several samples or and have had several samples and back and forth with a few different companies we want the new sleeves to be on par with the quality found in dragon shield line of products okay so he's not going to tell us what the new size or well card count doesn't really matter because like he's already kind of showed the card count just buy a whole bunch of extra sleeves extra sleeves you can never you're always going to use them because wave four and everything so just buy a ton of them even if the card counts were generous or just buy more because you're going to use them in wave four anyway would have been really nice to have the size 
Uh, can someone ask if they're planning on opening up any channels to non-original Kickstarter backers? It's a bit of a bummer having backed the Gambus Chess three years ago and not being... It's a bit of a bummer having to back the, the Gambus Chess like seven years ago. <laughs> being able to say anything because I don't show up to the party early enough. Uh, really, no one really gets to say... We have, Kickstarter people have no say either, so... Kickstarter offers a frustrating limited amount of control. We cannot add individuals to the Kickstarter so they can participate in comments, nor can we lock threads, mute spoilers, or do anything that is needed from a public, modern, online socializing platform. Kickstarter is not a social platform, so it's probably why they don't care about that stuff. Um, what node is the Witch of the East Star in the Lagomorph campaign that features the Lagomorph spider? That's a great question. I would write her as a core or node 3 monster. Um, when are Godside cards being introduced in Campaigns of Death or a specific... They'll be introduced with Screaming God. However, as we are currently moving into reviewing the Screaming God, if we decide they are superfluous, we will add some extra settlement events to that expansion to make up for the design change. We have yet to make a final determination yet. It's 75% done. It's 75% done. It's 75% done. <laughs> it's 75% done what do you mean you haven't decided if you're going to use it Have what do you mean <laughs> uh, how is the printing of the two the dogs are the two doggos going if you were referring to Black Knight and the frog dog as of writing this Anna has finished making the final list of changes from the last round of proofreading and copy edits to the rulebook the little squire campaign which I'm quite proud of is super fun I'm glad it's fun and offers a very different Kamian play experience and the final tool that has the Black Knight armors, Harold, Marin, whatever, is currently queued up. Okay, so the tooling uh, gear or mint survivors for them. Frog Dog is very close behind. There is some final balancing with the gear costs and stats associated with the Bullfrog Dog. And thankfully, all the plastic for that expansion is tooled, approved, and ready for production. I think these will both be hitting the printers before we are at Gen Con. Cool. You said they'd be delivered, like, prior to Gen Con, but... Cool. At least they're getting done. Uh, what new expansions have not been touched at all? We are almost... Uh, what are almost complete besides the two that are ready to print? The Ivory Dragon expansion has only had lore written for it so far. And we have yet to figure figure a lot out while the sculpture was being worked on. Uh, this is something I've long said. They do no real design until they don't do proxies. Uh, I've long said that. That was a question I've asked a long time ago. They don't really do any designing with until they have an actual physical thing in front of them. Um, they don't proxy much. So, it's not had any gameplay or draft gameplay elements written for it yet. The Titan Bee, Honeycomb Weaver, Campaigns of Death, Screaming God, First Hero, Red Witches, Prior are all in the pretty darn close spectrum of finished. Pretty darn close spectrum of finish. Okay? So, we've got Honeycomb Weaver, Honeycomb Weaver, Campaigns of Death, Screaming God, First Hero, and Red Witches and Pariah. Let's go back up to the, the percentage list. Campaigns of Death, Scre uh, Screaming God, 70, 75%. Red Witches down to 60. So we're, so th this is a little bit above half. Pariah, 70. Honeycomb Weaver is below half. He said it's 40%. First Hero is at 60%. 20% of the Ivory Dragon is just lore. How can these... This is this is below half. How is this nearly done? It's below half. Okay, so it's below half. But it's nearly done. Um, where is it? Red Witches and Pryor. Pretty darn close spectrum of being finished. Well, you just said it was 40%. Are you going to offer 3D terrain for any all expansions or base game? I think so. If not, the, plast the hard plastic, we might... What? If not in hard plastic, we might be able to print it. However, I would like to get through the showdown board first as it has been far more work than I had anticipated. When you scale, you also scale the challenges and work involved. Hmm. Huh. 
Does he just explain scope creep? <laughs> Uh, if you were to include a fight against the scribe, what no would it be? Final boss. Defeat the scribe and I'll open source of all KDM and retire as gracefully as I can. So I don't think scribe's ever coming. That's probably what that means. Have you ever done a death match between all the monsters? Which one would you consider to be the winner of the base game and current expansions? Level 3 hand would, without a doubt, wreck them all. So not the god hand? So level 3 hand and god... So it's not the god hand? Or is level 3 hand the god hand? Uh, can you send me the gambler's chests? You got mail now. and You don't mind waiting for the gambler's chests with everyone else, right? It's cool if you already open. Uh, there's some logic here. And you did ask first, what do you guys think? Yeah, you should send it to that person, so I think. Are you going to give interviews during Gen Con? Or are you going to be showing any new expansions during it besides the Screaming God Frog, Dark and Black Knight? Yep. I will be available for, for interviews. If possible, I would like to have a list of questions ahead of time so I can have... Uh, better answers ahead of time. Okay, it's possible. I could do that for you. Don't you worry. Is there going to be a different encounter board for each possible encounter monster? Some monsters will have their own encounter board when it's more biome specific, while others will use the standard one that comes with the Gambler's Chest expansion. Neat. This is very cool. Is the Prologue Worm still under consideration for Campaigns of Death? Yes, and we have unique artwork for that story event complete. Super cool. Amazing. Broken record here. Have you given any thought or made a decision on moving first hero expansion up to ship with or shortly after Campaigns of Death? Yes, we have. With Gambit's just now in its fulfillment phase, team and I have been reviewing expansions to determine which are the closest so that we can, you know, just finish them. We are moving away from the concurrent development and continuing to a focused development strategy. We want to bring the expansions that are closest to being complete out to everyone ASAP. So that would not be First Hero. Let's go see where First Hero was on the list. Uh, first Hero, 60%. So that means Campaigns of Death, Screaming, well, Campaigns of Death, obviously, but Screaming God, Oblivion Mosquito, Nightmare Ram. When I say 60%, First Hero, 60%. So Pariah, Screaming God, um, and then you have the all these other ones. So First Hero is on par with Nightmare Ram, Oblivion Mosquito, and maybe possibly. So it's like fourth on the list down. Maybe. Uh, okay, where is it? Okay, any update in the Pathfinder? Uh, crossover minis. Miniatures are finished, and I have a mountain of potential gameplay drafts, suggestions, and brainstorms to absorb before I decide what the final direction for this project is going to be. I don't want to half-ass it. But I also don't want to scope creep it. You need to find that sweet spot. Should we go return to what he said where that was? Where he just said that he has just some ideas? Pathfinders of Death. 50%. 50%. And what is it that it, what is it that's done? The miniatures are finished, and I have a mountain of potential gameplay drafts, suggestions, and brainstorms to absorb before I decide what the final direction... He doesn't even know what the direction of the project's going to be, but it's 50% done. I don't want to half-ass it, but I also don't want to scope creep it. You find that sweet spot. What does that mean for the ones that are below 50%? If 50% is doesn't even know where it's going to go yet, hasn't even tested gameplay, made any cards, done anything. So just a bunch of drafts and suggestions and brainstorms. What is the status of various expansions? Is there a plan to give us an update on the state of every upcoming expansion and what, if any, change during the Kickstarter? Yes, an overall project health status update would be good. It's called Dark Herald. I asked when it would continue, you didn't know. The Q&A is sort of the tip of the iceberg on that, but maybe later an update can cover things more. In regards to a direct before and after, I feel kind of things the best service coming out ahead of But this is Dark Herald. This, when is Dark Herald coming back? This is Dark Herald. So... You've showcased three showdowns during Gen Con's the previous year. Black Knight, Frog Dog, Screaming God. But haven't posted anything on Kickstarter. Would you do an in-depth look at the upcoming showdown to showcase some of the stuff we've been waiting for? Maybe I can reach out to one of the many, many, nah, many very talented conquerors to run a demo. I think that would be better than not take production time doing it in house would. Sure. I agree. Uh, find someone who will do it. 
Will the Black Knight and Nightmare Ram tiles be compatible so that we can mix them for new custom showdowns and dungeons? There are tiles with, uh, they are tiles with the same size spaces on them. I am certain any homebrewer could make some creative use of them. That's probably no then. So no. Uh, will you be making a physical rolling terrainscape for the Screaming God? Yes. It's going to delay all the projects until 2050. It's a joke. Will the inverted mountain uh, contain? Will the in will the inverted mountain contain mountain vertical tiles? A lot of a i n there. <laughs> inverted mountain contain mountain vertical tiles for scaling up and falling down. No, but some showdowns for monsters that live in the inverted mountain will have some verticality expressed in different ways. This is a nightmare ram. It shows you can get thrown off. Black Knight was also a demo where you can get thrown off. Griffin was also at the top. Shows you can get kicked out of the nest. Uh, what would probably be the most interesting thing would be the hunt board. I hope there's a new hunt board. The hunt board would display this the best as you could climb up on. That'd be the best. Like that one thing from, what is it, Price is Right that goes, do, 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 do. <laughs> the guy. Uh, I'm not saying the actual physical thing. I'm just saying that you can display, you can, you can show vertical scaling by having a, a hunt board that's like diagonal. So... Um, what happened to the original pitch of Atnus where we needed to search and reassemble the different body parts of Atnus to make it whole again? Probably not something that was planned for. Probably not something that was planned for. It's probably definitely planned for. Is this still in the story arc? I very much love this part. Scavenging Indiana Jones styles for ancient evil relics. Indian, that's true. Not Indiana Jones, though. This was probably actually a Castlevania reference. Because uh, I think Alucard which is Dracula backwards, and Atnus is Santa, Santa backwards, Alucard has to go and reform Dracula by gathering up a bunch of his pieces and re-putting them together, and then you fight him. Uh, this is directly probably a Castlevania reference of Alucard doing that, and it's probably why it was originally called, called Atnus, because it's backwards. So all that, uh, that bit of Atnus's story now proceeds when the survivors have to deal with it, and we would love to have a opportunity to fully explore that in the vignette or future release. So, interesting. Uh, this is probably also the Cubes of Atnus. When the Cubes of Atnus was originally released, uh, I think it was five. You gathered five of them and then a new survivor came or whatever, comes of the scent or whatever. Cubes of Atnus. So that was still a thing even when Cubes of Atnus was to be in that white, or when that Cubes of Atnus, like that design implementation, when they released that white box. Probably still a, like part of the plan. So Possessed Twilight Night Progress. Finished. Check it out right now. Yep, that was talked about. Are you planning on selling any or all the new monsters as naked as a naked bundle? Will Campaigns of Death contain level 4 monsters? Those are two very different questions. Naked bundles are usually for when you have extra plastics or small production when you have something long before its development is finished. Campaigns of Death has some surprises. Instead of level 4 monsters, it has several new core monsters that serve as a framework for new campaigns. Uh, interesting, because I would have thought that you would want to upgrade, if, makes me wonder what's in Campaigns of Death, or not Campaigns of Death, in Gambler's Chest, because Gambler's Chest is supposed to have level 4, 5, and 6 monsters, however, I'm on the, the train of King is 4, 5, and 6, uh, not, not, all the monsters are not 4, 5, and 6, um, so it would have been nice to see other monsters getting level 4, especially Lion God in Campaigns of Death getting 4, 5, 6 treatment. So, uh, maybe they'll get, happen in Silver City, but uh, without being coy or evasive, though I know it is fun with being as as Devil Slenderman, yes. So Devil Slenderman isn't part of the campaign. That's great to have this actually confirmed. It can be difficult sometimes when Poot says stuff like he forgot. I mean, it, it was always pretty much confirmed, but you never know. Are you going to re-release this Skellingon model? I don't know what that is. I think this is probably the the Necromancer boss or whatever. Wasn't that the Skeleton one? Or Skeleton King? I don't remember what it was. Kingly Orc from Diablo. <laughs> Any new weapon types or fighting styles you can share info? Okay. This model, uh, that model was actually for a different game. At this point, I do not know when or in what form it'll make its return. I think this is probably for the lab, uh, Abyss, Journey into the Abyss is probably what that was for. Will the beta stuff be included in the gambler's chest? Uh, no, beta content will not be in the gambler's chest. Will you have an EU, not UK one? I actually mean EU, hub to ship. We are currently, we currently have both a warehouse in the UK and the EU, and we are working high level, so that's great. What are the new minis from gambler's chest like scale-wise? 
They par art with the blah, 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 blah. Narrative minis are based on a desired skill of the characters with a bit of a range between them. So, again, these are the... Uh, they're the new scale, probably, the ones that we've seen in Echoes and stuff. Is it possible to have an, an annual promo content box to buy? Love the minis, but really just want the content. Have to play a premium for the cards. Just like the beta content? Well, yes. Uh, well, that's promo. I'm pretty sure this person meant white box. Um, because a lot of people don't want to have to buy the painter scale mixed in. Again, that's Skrell. Skrell's amazing. Skrell, super awesome. Make more like Skrell. Don't include the painter's box. But what this question was probably asking about was actually the white boxes that have painter boxes, that painter scale minis included in them that push them to $60. No one wants to pay $60 to get like one gear card, two gear cards. So that's what they would actually like. That's what this question was about. For now, I'm going to say no, but the seed is planted. Okay, so hopefully, this is actually a question I was going to ask at Gen Con if I did get the chance to interview him. Uh, we have a comic, gra or will we have a graphic novel and laugh pages? Damage the book. No, that's a shame. I recently noticed the people of the Manhunter from the first Kickstarter. Would you please release any similar cut content drafts? Tended as people. Okay. <laughs> this was from Kickstarter 1. Uh, Manhunter was supposed to like include a campaign. I don't know if it was called People of the Manhunter, but it was supposed to like include a campaign with it. Uh, so this is probably just a coy joke as to saying that maybe this doesn't exist. Uh, it's probably just was a pitched idea that was scrapped. So it is, but yeah, he's never going to talk about that. Uh, you ever thought about adding vampiricism, lycanthropy as disorders? Yes, this is super interesting. Why would these be disorders? Like, it, it, it is like a thing, I get it, like lycanthropy and vampirism to be disorders, but you'd think these would be like impairments, like leprosy is already like an impairment, or like an ability, uh, more so than just as a disorder. Disorders are usually manifestations of their insanity and stuff, like they're not really like, they may or may not be like actually real. I get that's why they might think they're changing like in lycanthropy and stuff, but this is super weird. <laughs> and the, the fact is that yes is even more weird. <laughs> Have you ever considered adding or plan on adding mounts or animal companions? Like one-off dog pull cards uh, that are or that are or aren't domesticated, rolling blah, 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 blah. Uh, so, okay, husbandry or mounting, stuff like that. No, monsters in Monster, we very, very, very rarely depict any organisms as being under the survivors. It's part of the overall feel vibe of the setting. Not entirely true about them as far as being totally on the bottom because there are um, like vermin and stuff like that. Uh, sure, the vermin can kill like the survivors. If they try to eat them, they'll, ki they'll get killed by it. But, you know, uh, vermin are usually pretty bad. I mean, they're, they're, they they're buff survivors, stuff like that. And you have, like, verminism now, which is going to be, like... So, the, I, I, I agree. Husbandry will, probably would never fit into KDM lore, but... Uh, still, the vermin are pretty bad. They're pretty low. They're literally food for survivors. Uh, sentient or living parasitic weapons. Yes. Uh, I think there are parasitic weapons, aren't there? Uh, the cursed weapons, right? Cursed weapons are probably parasitic. And they're not, they're not really cursed because there's no magic. So they're probably parasitic. Uh, we have sentient weapons, which, again, probably no magic, so they're not actually sentient. But, yes. Interesting. Sentient, parasitic. Uh, maybe you have answered this before. At some point, you said that all monsters were already tooled. Yes. It would be very easy to tell you what monsters are not tooled, since so, 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 so many of them are. Upside Down Pariah, uh, pariah Upside Down Pariah, Pariah, Mountain Man, Trap Door Man, Honeycomb Weaver, Hissing Cockroaches, Griffin, Titan Bee, and Ivy Dragon have not been tooled, though en engineering work has gone into some of them. This is interesting because I think we've seen this before, and I think it's been said that it's been tooled. Right? Haven't we seen the Mountain Man? This, the... I'm pretty sure it was, it was shown here before, at least somewhere, and I'm pretty sure... But either way, it's interesting, because I always thought Upside Down... Pro, but yeah, Trap Doorman, right? Doesn't it say in Trap Doorman right here? 
Are these saying they're all tooled? I guess these ones aren't tooled. I guess these are just not actual ones. Interesting. Uh, so that that's that's surprising that the inverted mountain, the one that we know the most about, things have not been tooled. Uh, please do a deep dive into the pillar system. Again, this is another... Uh, yep, you have to wait to read about it, which is a shame. This is actually a question. I asked about the pillar system, and then I know it was double-asked. <laughs> Uh, can you do a live Q&A at Gen Con? Yes, he says that. I don't know about live. I won't be able to do live with him, but um, maybe Twist Gaming will be there. They usually do live. That's neat. Maybe running another food cooking crossover. Yes, at some point. Since Frog Dog and Black Knight are going to finish before Campaigns of Death, is there any chance you can include some small synergy content between them and the original expansions in a few places? Once they are available, I don't know why it's in quotes, <laughs> That really opens up our ability to make small releases that service or touch on those expansions, which we've already seen that with beta stuff, with like the Gorm stuff. The Gorm, there's all, all the pretty much all the beta stuff is like mixing core and um, expansions. Currently, we have a concept for a character wearing the Count armor with a unique weapon we might see early next year. Yeah, so again, it's probably beta stuff. That's like all the like uh, what's it? Grimmery was Gorm. It's going to be beta stuff. Uh, will we get the opportunity to get a 3D version of the Black Knight expansion showcased during... I would so like to make this available. Tooling price is sadly very high. We want to keep... Yeah, so this is just like that... The the demo that was showed at Gen Con, that's what this was. Any plans to release new models of the classic armor sets? The game is Kingdom Death 2nd Edition, of course. Uh, sure. I guess no. I guess this is a no. Will it be possible to play People of the Lantern with advanced rules? Yes. With all the different ecosystems and expansions, are there any chances to get some kind of map to help us understand the KDM world? This is no, the Watchers consume consume human stuff. Like, so, yeah. Uh, yes, the Twilight Order, This is they destroy all knowledge. So that's the Watchers eat this. So that's a no. Thank you so much. My pleasure. <laughs> Shouldn't have said this one. <laughs> What are you going to get more info on Abyss of Woods and Honeycomb Weaver or Titan B? We're moving into focusing on just one or two projects at once until they are complete. Working concurrently on all the projects at once. Super fun, COVID delays, all the wonderful disruptions they caused. Have left us with many projects in the unfinished states. Unfinished projects don't help people play more KDM. I think we will hear about Titan B, more about Titan B this year for Abyss of Woods. I don't think we'll be picking that up earnest quite yet was it easy to answer all these questions or did you find yourself being overwhelmed totally overwhelmed it started at 2 30 p.m and it's now 6 p.m okay for 3d train you will be working on vertical key tiles the night we're showdown we are currently no style plans for representing multiple multi-level showdowns yeah um so yeah that was already answered up one before well, so curious, you said that the new showdown board on the inverted mountain will include different levels of elevation. A number of different things can happen depending on the yeah. end. So this uh, asking about elevation, uh, it's just yeah, it's just thematic. It's a board game, so it's just all going to be thematic. Will you please show off uh, Gamers Just Instead? There's a tiny preview in this update. And finally, the pace, it increase. And this is some kind of Screaming God thing. So very neat. Um... That's it. Very long update. Lots of Q&A. Lots of questions. Giving slight, like, minor info. But for the most part, very good update. Uh, Game with Chest is sh done and will be shipping in July. And then reaching backers probably in September. I still think September. Maybe some people will get it at the end of August. That'll be awesome. So, this was a great update. I don't know if we'll get another one before Gen Con. Probably won't. I don't think so. Maybe we will. Uh, I really do hope so, because we need to get an email address to actually email uh, questions in advance. So, hopefully we do get another one before Gen Con. Another update. Hopefully it's mid-July, so not near the end of July. Otherwise, that doesn't help anyone, because Gen Con's like the first weekend of August. So, if it's like the last day of July, it doesn't help anybody. Uh as far as questions emailing in advance so thank you so much for watching <laughs> i'll see you uh very soon with some other videos uh so i'll see you in the next